Hi you guys, it's uh, December the 30th, 2014, we're doing a wild camp, um, just had Christmas obviously and uh, that's all over and done with, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, we have been a bit busy the past few months with Christmas coming up and all the rest of it and uh, I've actually still got our last camp sitting on my computer at home, um, but I'll get that up in the next, uh, next couple of days. But yeah, we did want to do a camp over Christmas. It is extremely cold. Um, we'll be talking a little bit later about that and how we prepared for it. And on the sail out, Cole. All right, Cole. Guys. Yeah, we've just done Heart Attack Hill. Um, as I said, it's been a little while, so it's uh, that's hit us quite hard. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to tonight. Um, should be a pleasant evening. Um, hiya. Um, should be a good evening. Really looking forward to that four bird roast. Um, we've never done one before, so it should be an interesting experience. Hopefully, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll put it off nicely, and it should be a nice, a nice Christmas feed up, really. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to carry on. We're going to get up to Gamekeeper's Rest. Uh, Merry Christmas, anyway. I know it's over, but uh, and wishing you a new year for uh, tomorrow evening. But uh, anyways, we're going to get up. To gamekeepers rest and uh, we get back to it in guys hi guys we're at gamekeepers rest and we've had the vandals here yeah someone's been here they've lit a fire they've uh, pulled the roof off they've scattered all this stuff that we had nicely sort of stored neatly and tidily you know they pulled it out um, we did have a kettle stashed away up here, but uh, that seems to have gone as well. And you know guys, I mean there's no need for it. I mean, we've got no problem with anyone using this camp, you know. But just be respectful and keep it tidy. And don't just go around wrecking everything because you're a mindless idiot with an extremely low IQ, um, probably. Yeah, so you, you can tell we're, put, we're a little bit angry, um, just because of the disrespect really, not just to our camp, but to the woods, um, it, there's no need for it, you know, and there's, there's uh, you know, I'm sorry to sort of go on about it really, but, you know, we are quite angry, um, you know, there's just no need for these mindless idiots to exist in the world, really, um, I think if the government could get older people, these sort of mindless yobs, and have them put down, that would probably be a good thing really for the world in general because um, some people just don't really have a right to appreciate the woodland or anything else if they're not going to respect it that's the way I see it anyway um, so yeah we've had a little rank now we're going to get on we're going to tidy up the camp we're going we're to camp here tonight anyway just because we want to use the oven so we're going to tidy it up um, we're going to get on and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a bit. Maybe next time we'll set some man traps. Um, <laughs> just joking. Right, okay, guys. Found the kettle. Um, there it is. Um, they've uh, smashed the front off of it. Don't know why they would want to do that, but uh, that's what they've done. Um, all this stuff was uh, thrown around the woods. Um, you know, we've had a, a look around. We've, we've salvaged uh, most of it. Um... Yeah, so uh, we're just getting the uh, tarp down now. It's going to be cold tonight, as I said. Um, so we're going to have a little sitting area in front of uh, the fireplace. We've got the uh, other tarp there from uh, the last camp, I don't you remember that. That's going to go up, that's going to be the roof. And then, uh, it's cold getting some bits out. We're going to set up in a normal position, really, uh, where we normally are in a little strip here and uh, hopefully it should be a warm well I say it should be a warm night it's not going to be a warm night it's going to be a freezing no, no. night but it should be warm with the fire going and all our layers and uh, Colin's got a new chair just want to show you that yeah Spider-Man there you go uh, yeah <laughs> it made me yeah he didn't bring his big chair he bought the little one um, just to cut down a bit of weight um, I've got my normal chair that'd be cool and uh, yeah, so we're gonna get on. We're gonna get this camp into shape, uh, repair some of the damage that's been done. Um, so the way it goes, unfortunately, 
you know, it's just the way it goes. You share the world with idiots. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> um, but they're quite welcome to come back tonight. Me and Colin have been discussing it. Um, they're quite welcome to come back tonight and uh, we'll have a little chat to them and teach them some manners. That's not a problem for us, believe me. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get on. You've got to have a sense of humour about these things. Um, we're going to get on and uh, we get back to you when we got the, maybe the fire going, the hammock set up, that sort of thing. Um, it must be about half past two. We're going to lose the light in a few hours. Um, so we're going to get on for that. And uh, yeah, we're talking a bit guys. Alright guys, we've got the flame, we're going to crack on, we really want to get a fire going now because uh, we know that pretty soon the temperature's going to drop. So yeah, we're going to get on with that and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Hi guys, we're just uh, gathering some firewood and uh, as you can see, changed a bit the uh, woods, it's gone very bare now. As, as the winter's the winter's coming and uh yeah it's very bare very barren but we have had a lot of wind recently and uh what's happened there is of course we had a lot of woodfall not in our camp i must add but away from our camp we've got a lot of trees that are falling in between other trees which is good because what you don't want is to be gathering your firewood directly off the forest floor but it's going to be damp, it's going to be full of moisture and when you want to get a fire going quick in these sort of cold temperatures you want to be getting the best bit of wood you can get and so what I'm looking for is stuff that's fallen in between the trees like this one here it's nice and dry dry as a bone in fact I've just got this one as well that I've broken off and yeah, so that's basically what I'm looking for. Any wood that's fallen in between the trees that is raised off of the forest floor. That's what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of wind, as I said, and uh, we've got a lot of wood. Yeah, there's uh, loads of wood that's fallen. I'm just looking at them all in between the boughs of the trees. So yeah, going to be gathering that. Just thought I'd give you that little tip that you already know, I'm sure. But uh, yeah. So we're going to get stocked up on wood. We've uh, put the camp into some sort of semblance of order. Um, as we've said, it, you know, they scattered our cooking stuff. But that's all got to be sterilised thoroughly and all the rest of it. And we'll probably take it home next time. Um, I've been uh, talking to Carl about the possibility of uh, finding another wood somewhere. Um, that would be, perhaps one that hasn't got a heart attack hill. We do like gamekeepers rest, don't get me wrong. But uh, next year, which isn't that far away actually, it being December the 30th, next year we're determined to branch out a little bit more, get into some bigger forests and uh, really explore this country a bit more. Get out of our own area and uh, look around a bit. Anyway, we're going to get on. So... I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm filming this on my phone. It was just a quick little film I thought I'd I'd do while I was gathering some wood and uh, show you what the forest is looking like at the moment. All right, guys. Talking a bit. Hi, guys. Well, we're set up. I'll just stand back so you can see this properly. There you go. That's that big blue tarp that uh, we bring. Then we lay out the green ground sheet there. And it just gives us a nice little area in front of the fire there where the heat reflects back, keeps us warm on cold nights like tonight. And so yeah, we've restored everything, you know, tidied up and uh, sterilised all the cooking equipment and uh, we'll take that home with us next time. Here's the old uh, 
four bird roast is in there. Let's cook it nicely. Running down here, we've got some uh, sausage casserole, sausage casserole. With, with meatballs and, and meatballs and tomato sauce. I believe that's from the old uh, army ration pack there. This. I know you can't see too much, but uh, more than usual. I'm f filming on my phone now, so uh, it's not too bad. Normal setup as usual. Um, right on with pigs. Now it's going to be cold tonight, and it is. But uh, basically, I've just gone for the full roll mat again. Gone from the bivy bag, which is essential. The uh, Van Gogh ultralight sleeping bag, which is about, oh, it goes down to about minus 15 or something. It's a four season, um, so that will keep me nice and toasty warm tonight. Got ground sheets down there. Coals over there in the distance, as you can see. Turning back round. Yeah, we've got a nice... Um, stock of wood. Um, because of the cold, the wood has retained um, some moisture, so it's burning really slow, um, which is all right by us, because it means uh, the wood's going to go a lot further. And just look at that, guys. I mean, yep, it's a cold December night, but uh, got to admit, quite warm. it's pretty nice. Yeah, it is actually. Um, I think it's just because we were prepared so hard. For the because uh, this morning I, when I got up, it was frost yeah, on my lawn this morning, um, so you know we've laid up. I've, I've got two sets of thermals on. I've got a t-shirt. I've got like a like a crag hopper sort of fleece thing. Another fleece on top with a hood. I've got my camos and uh, my MTPs, um, and I've also got a backup Gore-Tex jacket, um, just in case. So I think I'm going to be okay. I'm actually quite toasty. The uh, fire's kicking out nicely. The woods have changed a lot. Um, they're very bare. Probably one of the reasons the camp was found. Um, but, you know, that's the way it goes. We are going to find some new... We've got a few ideas for some new woods, actually, which we're going to try out next year. But, uh... This has served us well anyway, gamekeepers. And we'll still use it in the future. Be a little bit more careful about what we leave here. But, uh, yeah. So that's all good. We're going to rock on with that. And basically, I'm going to sit down and have a coffee, guys. Um, Cole's just done the coffees, actually. There's mine in my usual Stanley camping cup. Screwed up there. And, yeah, we're just going to relax for a bit. Because we've been on the go since we got here. Basically, or since we got up this morning, um, you know, getting things ready. But uh, yeah, just look at that, guys. I mean, <laughs> look at the fire, look at the food. If you prepare for the cold and the elements, you can have a really nice time. And uh, yeah, it's all good. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, something to eat and a coffee. This is just our first little snack. Um, obviously, we've got the uh, main meal. Main meal for four bird roast. Uh, we've got a nice bit of French stick actually. We're gonna we think we French stick and some four bird roast in there, nice and Christmassy. So that'd be nice. And uh, later on, we've got some uh, sort of spicy Mexican burgers for midnight. I think yeah. with uh, some bacon and uh, yeah, that's gonna be nice. All right, then, guys. So yeah, we'll just spin round. A bit tricky with this, but uh, and. Uh, See you in a bit. Hi guys, the fire is roaring. We built that up nicely. It's a it's a slow burn tonight, which is uh, fine with us. Got the old uh, four bird roast on there. It's going to be a few hours. We've had our first course, the uh, sausage casserole from the ration pack, and uh, what, what was it? Meatballs, Carl. Tomato sauce. Yeah, meatballs in tomato sauce. Uh, yeah, they're all right. We've got some rations for the morning, I think, an all-day breakfast, and uh, we bought some bacon and some mushrooms with us as well. That'd be nice in the morning. 
I think we'll probably have a few rolls in a little while, just some bacon, just to keep us going, because that is going to be a few hours, that uh, four bird roast, we want to cook it properly. I think you can see tonight, the uh, moon through the trees there, sort of very misty, and uh, might just pick that up. Yeah, it's very sort of like a movie. Oh, see that coming through the trees there, guys? Yeah, weird. Like a horror movie. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. And we've got a French stick there for later. We're just going to basically throw the four bird roast in there and have a munch up. In the distance there, you can see the lights of the town. People with their hustle and bustle. It's a Tuesday night. Their busy lives. And here we are in the middle of the woods. Just chilling out, really. There's the old uh, nice fire and... Uh, Cole's brought the saw with him, just to saw through some of this wood, fallen wood that we've got up here, so it's a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, we've got a good stock, and uh, I think that's probably going to, we might have to do one more wood run later, but I'm not sure. The way this is burning, as I said, it's a slow burn tonight, and because uh, of the moisture in the wood, and uh, that's always good. Yeah, so once, once you've got it going, initially... Um, that's all good. Right. Okay, guys. Well, we'll get back to you in a little while. I was going to saw some wood. I'm going to finish off my coffee, which I've forgotten again. It's in the old Stanley mug. And uh, we'll chat in a bit. Hi, guys. Kettle's on. We're going to have a coffee. We've just done a bit of a wood run. And then we're going to have some uh, bacon and mushroom rolls. Just basically because we want some hot food. We're just having a little chat actually. Um, we were talking about the woods and um, wild camping really. And the fact that you do have to know what you're doing. You do have to be prepared. Um, in these, I mean in the summer, yeah, you can pretty much uh, sail, sail through easy free. But uh, in the winter... Um, if you came up, you know, Colin was just saying he was talking to his wife and this, that and the other and explaining to her about it. And If you come up here and you weren't prepared, you could die out here. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Um, there's people dying in this country all the time in extreme cold winters of hypothermia. If you come to into an environment like this, it gets freezing in these woods at night. If you just came up here on a jolly and thought, I'll do a bit of wild camping and I won't prepare, and you didn't have the right, you know, the warm, the stuff to keep you warm, basically, and and the knowledge, and, and the knowledge yeah, um, as well, you could be in trouble. You could be. In the summer, yeah, you don't really have to worry. Um, you know, you're not going to run into too many problems. What's that when you got wet, wasn't it? You knew we had to go on. Yeah, we, I mean, we had, we had one night, it was a bit of a disaster, we, we sort of caught a hurricane. Um the end of it it was a sort of surprise no one expected it and uh it was just I was in a rush that night and i forgot my waterproof gear but um we didn't expect it to rain so we thought okay yeah we'll go with it and um it did rain and it was an absolute battle to keep the fire going and all the rest of it and i got soaked and we had to bug out because i said to carl i said um sleep in my hammock tonight I'm gonna to die I'm gonna die of hypothermia I was standing in front of the fire and uh, my whole body was steaming the smoke was just coming off where it was drying my soaking wet clothes and uh, yeah that night it was cold it was a hurricane it was it was actually a nightmare this camp we were on and uh, that night we had to make a survival decision there was no doubt about it there was no doubt about it and I said we gotta go and we talked about it and said, yeah, we have. Because I knew if I climbed into my hammock, I certainly was going to die. Um, I could feel the hypothermia creeping in that night. I, I know the signs. You know, I know what to look for. So I knew that my body was in trouble. And, um, yes, yeah, so we bugged out that night. But, uh, yeah, it just goes to show, even if you're experienced, you can make a little error. You know, rushing and all the rest of it, you make a little error. And that little area can cost you dear. So it is important to be prepared if you're going to be coming out in the extreme weathers, you know, when, when it does get cold. 
and in the woods it gets colder than anywhere else, believe me. Um, we haven't got much of a canopy anymore. And oh, I wonder if I can catch this moonshot for you guys. I'm really hoping I can because uh, oh, I don't think I can get it. Ah, yes, there it is, guys. Look at that. I've just caught a glance of that. The moon through the trees. That is like something from a film. Really is. It's all sort of misty up there tonight as well. I'm going to try and do a little zoom for you, but uh, I get to spoil it if it goes too much. Yes, it's better if I just bring it back out again. There you go. But yeah, that, that I mean, that is what it's all about. Um, that's why we do it. We do make sure we're prepared. We have been doing it a long time, so we've got a fair bit of knowledge. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, um, food for free. I mentioned it in the last video. Um, someone left a comment. Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. I really can't. Um, I should have uh, looked it up before I came out. But um, so you, you can get food for free still, which is brilliant. Um, uh, you know, I said to him, yeah, it's brilliant, thank you. Um, you can also get it on the, uh, I think from Amazon, as a download. Um, or you can get a physical copy in the world. And that's, and that's brilliant, that's brilliant. And uh, the guy apparently um, does a bit of work now for, um, I think it's BBC or whatever. He's still writing books and, uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So I'd recommend, grab yourself a copy if you're in the UK of uh, food for free because it'll give you everything you need to know for this environment I wonder if he does it for um, other countries as well, that would be an in maybe an interesting idea for him this guy that knows his stuff so uh, you know guide for other countries too, what's native to them but yeah there's the moon shining bright tonight, it's only a half moon but yeah very nice very nice. I'm going to try and get a picture of that, guys, if I can. Alright. Okay, well, we're just building it up a bit now. Roof is off, uh, it got a bit smoky. We put this uh, tray, I don't know if you see this from last time. Yeah, we managed to salvage that. They didn't, uh, they left that alone. Um, on top there, to create a sort of mini oven, if you like, because there's the four bird roast in its own tray. So that's going to be reflecting some heat back down. We've got heat going up there. So that's how, and if you can hear that sizzling away. I think the kettle's covering the noise a little bit, but yeah, earlier on we were just listening to the old, uh, Four birds sizzling away there. Oh, hang on, Let's see if I can catch this. Plane flying above the woods, people. Look at that. And because the canopy's gone, we can really. That's eerie, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's a lot closer for us than it is for you seeing it on the camera. But it's very misty, and uh, the plane's flying through the mist. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. Just a few moments here we're sharing with you in the woods. Um, you know, it's the little things when you're up here. Definitely. Right, well, I can hear that kettle starting to sizzle. They can't whistle anymore because they broke the end off. But, uh, <laughs> and the lid. And the lid, yeah. And, and the lid as well. Yeah, they really put some effort into this, guys, you know. Wow. Um, they must really be bored. So yeah, that's cool. So we're gonna have coffee in a minute. Oh, Colin's on his whiskey coffee. He's made a whiskey coffee, people. Um, it's not my thing, to be honest. The, the smell of it alone is uh, enough to put me off. I'm not a big fan of spirits. Yeah, well, I'm just not a big fan of spirits. Not a big fan of spirits, guys. Not a big fan of alcohol, full stop, but just now and again. Right, we're gonna get on, we're gonna build it up, we're gonna have a nice coffee. We get back to you with some uh, bacon and bacon and mushroom rolls. Yep. 
Yeah, some bacon and mushroom rolls. I want to get some hot food in us now because it feels a lot later than it is. It's actually probably only about 7 o'clock now. It feels a lot later. It's just that we've got up here early and then we lost the light so quick. That's another thing. Um, you can see how people get caught out when they're in real thick wilderness and stuff. Because the light, you can lose the light so quickly. Within probably the space of an hour, it just, you know, it just dropped. The, the light levels just went to nothing. And it was dark. So, yeah, you can get caught out sometimes. But we were expecting the light to go, so we, we got on with our hammocks and uh, got them up. And that's all good. Ah, just one thing, guys, I was going to say. Um, I think we're up to about 105 subscribers. Um, that's brilliant. Uh, you know, thank you so much, really. Thank you so much. We, you know, we, we Cole, me and Cole were talking the other day. We can remember when we had like um, two subscribers, you know, when we just, I mean, when we were just starting out with the YouTube side of things three or four months ago, whatever. So, yeah, it's brilliant. Thanks for your support, guys. We are. Hi, guys. It's not ready yet, but we just thought we'd open it up and have a little look. And it's actually cooking away nicely. Not ready yet, but uh, it's we good, know it's good to have the juices. It's got yeah. a nice temperature, then it's not. Yeah. It's not like frying the bottom. So we know it's cooking. That's the main thing. So that's good. I mean, before the end, once that is cooked through, pretty much we can take the top off and you know, brown off and all the rest of it. But uh, for now, we're just being patient. We're gonna have some bacon and mushroom rolls. The most important thing is just to make sure that your food is cooked through thoroughly and that it's, you know, it's all ready to eat. Because you don't feel poisoning or anything, you know what I mean? Just be patient. Be patient when cooking in the woods. As I said, it's still quite early for us. I mean, it's about seven-ish. Um, so, yeah, a couple of more hours. We'll have the main meal about nine. That'll be a nice little munch up. And then at twelve, uh, we'll have a coffee and all the rest of it. Yeah, and a, a triple burger, as Cole said, that is our tradition. A triple, and we've got um, some Mexican, sort of spicy Mexican ones this time. Something different, we thought. So, yeah, just what we'd show you that, we're just getting a little update because we haven't checked it yet. But uh, that fire's coming along nicely. That improvised nice, oven is coming along nicely. We have took the top off because the wood is a little bit damp, which is a slow burn, which we like, but it'll be too smoky for us to have that top on it was just blowing back into our little um little sitting area that we have here all lined up and that does make a difference guys um having that tarp up there the difference from when you sort of leave our little camp area and just come out into the woods here even just to my hammock and uh the temperature it just drops like a stone you see all my breath and everything. Um, yeah, so there you go. I've forgotten my coffee yet again, but that'd be fine. Right, we'll get back to you a bit of a uh, bit of bacon and mushroom rolls, maybe. That sounds nice. I'm getting hungry again. Catch you in a bit, guys. Hi, guys. The old uh, bacon and mushrooms. Have a look. There it is. Just a little snack, really. Um, we're waiting for the uh, four bird roast to uh, cook. So I'll just put that back on. I'm going to have that. Quick pan round to the fire. There we go. That really is. Uh, we've loosened a little bit now. Um, that's doing nicely. That is going to be lovely. A little bit of French stick. Thought I heard something in the woods um, a few minutes ago, so I went out and had a little scout around. But uh, there was nothing there. Just uh, my own paranoid imagination. So there you go. I'm going to munch down. Cole's enjoying that. Spot on. <laughs> yeah, spot on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this actually. And then I think that kettle's actually boiled now. 
So we can have a coffee whenever we want. We bought plenty of coffee this time. The old Nescafe 3 in 1. It's nothing worse than running out of sugar or running out of whatever. So uh, we've got plenty of those. That's all good. So yeah. We'll get back to you when the old uh, four bird roast is being served. I don't know what we're going to talk about tonight for our campfire chat, I've no idea. Uh, on our last video we were discussing the bushcraft guys. But uh, we'll see. Alright guys, catch you later. Alright guys, we've just put the glaze onto the uh, four bird roast. I don't know if we can... Uh, you, can look, you have to look through there. There you go. It's cooking nicely, it's been browning off nicely. Um, you know, we've checked it, it's cooked through. So that won't be too long. That's looking lovely. <clears throat> Put the fire up a bit. It is... We've both got our Gore-Tex's on there, yeah, it is uh, extremely cold. But we're managing the temperature okay. Uh, our core body's temperatures are fine. We can sort of feel that it's sort of cold on the outside, but uh, we've got all our layers, and, and that's what it's about. It's about layers. It's not about having one big, thick, foot thick um, coat or jacket. It's about having lots of different layers. I've got two sets of thermals. I've got a t-shirt. I've got a sort of fleece. And I've got another fleece. <laughs> I've got another fleece. Then I've got me um, MTP, MTPs and a gore jacket. Colin, as, as he said, he's got some thermals and he's got a onesie <laughs> on and then the rest of his layers. It's a Batman one. Yeah, it's a Batman one. But uh, it's a bit tricky for going to the toilet in, obviously. Which my wife pointed out to me when uh, I thought about wearing a onesie. But I decided a couple of... A couple of uh, sets of thermals would be uh, okay and I've actually got a third set at home for extreme temperatures but uh, yeah we're coping okay and uh, that's good building up the fire now definitely we we'll get a shot of that moon that moon's looking good again there you go through the old trees So yeah, that's coming along nicely now. So hopefully, in a little while, that'll be done. We'll be putting that in some French stick. So yeah, we're giving you an update and we'll get back to you in a bit, guys. Thanks for watching. More to come. Hi, guys. Just wanted to show you. It's the four bird roast. It looks delicious. Cooked in the woods. Who said man can't cook? We can, but only in the woods. Um, we're just going to have those in some uh, French stick there. Looks nice. And yeah, that does look delicious, I must admit. I'm just taking a picture there. So yeah, we're going to enjoy that. Just want to do a shout out to uh, friends, family people on Facebook, we're going to post this little clip clip up on there as well um, shout out to Digger for subscribing <laughs> yeah, shout out to Digger Dan for subscribing shout out to everyone really around the world as well uh, to my friend Sarah hope in America, I hope she had a, a good Christmas and uh, has a happy new year I'm loving the hats by the way um, also to uh, our friend uh, Stan in America Deep South experience, I believe he's in the middle of his hunting season. And uh, to our old mate Darren Snowden. And, uh, well, anyone really that knows us. So here we are. We thought we'd just post this up tonight as it's uh, Tuesday night. We're in the woods. People think we're crazy. But uh, look at that. I mean, that is delicious. That is going to be nice. And we've just built the fire up. All nice and ready for the evening. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, 
hope you're all having a good evening wherever you are on Facebook around the world wherever right guys catch you later